don't remember. It's just a little update for you guys to... <laughs> I felt like everybody needs to have their jaw dropped. So, you may remember that I have this alleged moving violation or um, moving vehicle infringement, which they're basically saying that I drove um, in a bus lane for more than 50 metres. Now, when I first got the ticket, I thought to myself, now I know that area, pretty sure there's nowhere along there that's 50, 50 metres or more. And given that at every intersection, when you're going along a bus lane, every time you pass an intersection, that bus lane stops. And then what it does is, at the, after that intersection, the bus lane then restarts. So the bus lane isn't continuous through intersections, which was my point. And I was thinking, well, there's a few intersections along that drag. I don't recall any of them being anywhere longer than 50 metres between each intersection. But in that instance, I was wrong. Yes, you heard it first, Peter. I will happily admit if I'm wrong about something, I'll tell you. Um, usually, if I don't know about something, I'll fucking tell you that too. But if I do know, I'll help you. So, I was wrong. Now, um, the reason I know that now is because in the disclosure, and Auckland Transport, like I said, very thorough with their disclosure, even though they've missed a few things, which is going to be to their detriment. But, um, yeah, what, what they've done is they've supplied me the entire fucking schematics of the entire Manukau area, all the, the land surveys with all the measurements and shit. And it shows that, that they call it 73 metres, although ironically they stop it in the middle of the intersection. So you need to come back at two or three metres for a start, and then it's about four metres back is actually where it stops. But the bus lane itself is 69 metres, and they're saying that the car travelled along that entire distance. And according to the video, it did travel all of that distance. What it doesn't show in the video is who was the driver. And I do believe that's one of the elements of the crime. Um, they need to prove beyond reasonable doubt who the driver was. And we've got a you know, summary of facts. A, a witness list is even supplied. Um, no brief of evidence, though. Perhaps that's one thing they've failed on, among the others. Um, so, the point being is that because I thought there was less than 50 metres there, I wanted to do like I did back in 2018 when I challenged a, a broken yellow lines ticket. Um, because in that instance, it was illegally issued, there were misleading markings, and any tickets issued from the time I was given a ticket until the date they fixed the problem, which was four months later, um, they had to refund because that would be fraud under Section 240 of the Crimes Act, where they would be gaining um, benefit by misleading or misrepresentation. Um, it's also in the Fair Trading Act, Section 913. So, yeah, um, what I did is back in 2018, I did an OIA request to find out how many other people were issued the tickets, and back then, they supplied me the infringement numbers. They tried to say no to begin with, and say no, we, that would be breaching people's privacy, and I said, I'm not after anybody's and, identifying information, I just need to know the infringement numbers, which they supplied me, okay, now there were only 11, and they all got refunded, but the point was they still supplied them to me, however, in this case, they haven't supplied them to me, they've said no, because that would be under section 72A of uh, the local government's uh, meetings and personal information act, um, that they were the goima they call it under that uh, that it would be breaching privacy and um, didn't want to give it to me it could also be that in the a same again four month period for, and they're talking from January when I was issued the ticket through to May in that same four month um, period what they'd done is they had issued 4,772 tickets I believe it was Yes, 4,772 tickets in the last four months in just that one bus lane. Now you might be thinking, well, you know, that's 
it's over a thousand a month it's almost twelve hundred a month you know there must be that, that that works out at about what 40 a day if they're running it seven days a week which i doubt they are so it'll be more than 40 50 tickets a day they're doing so if you take that four months and you take that 4,772 tickets issued, times that by the $150 bus lane ticket that you're going to end up paying if you don't stand up for your rights, uh, then that's $715,800 they've made in four months from one bus lane. But it gets better. Because I also, and even though they don't want to supply me the individual infringement numbers, my guess is because they don't want to give me a hundred pages of numbers because <laughs> 4,700 odd numbers um, that would take them some time so they're, they're pulling the whole breach of privacy bullshit even though obviously I don't work for Auckland Transport I don't have access to their infringement system and I can't look up what these infringement numbers and who the personal details are they still consider it a breach of privacy well they shouldn't have breached those 11 people's privacy back in 2018, should they? Um, but anyway, I move on. Um, what I also asked them was the total amount earned since, this, since that bus lane came into existence. And it came into existence back in March 2019. It's been running for just over four years. And uh, to answer, or 49 months, and to answer the question as to how many tickets that one bus lane has earned in four years, it is uh, 127,145 tickets issued. You times that by the 150 bus lane ticket, and you've got yourself $19,071,750. That's how much money they've made from one bus lane in four years. You might say, well, that's over four years. Okay, break it down. Divide 19 million by four, by four years. That's just under 5 million a year from one bus lane. How on earth are they screaming about not having revenue when there are hundreds of bus lanes around Auckland? Perhaps it'll be my next OIA. Ask how many bus lanes in total are out there earning $150 per ticket in the Auckland region. Thought you guys would all love that little uh, fill-in. I'm fucking shocked totally shocked at this bullshit they, they sent me but yeah I won't be able to get refunds on this one because there isn't a breach of less than 50 meters between the intersections so I'm not going to get away with that one but it is going to be interesting to see how they prove who was driving the vehicle isn't it anyway guys much love to you all I've just got to go and get a couple of things from the supermarket and then I'm heading back home um, just thought you guys would all be interested. I've got a lot more stuff coming up soon. Um, I'm just getting my health better and more energized to, to get more and more done. So I do apologize. And wouldn't you know it, after um, last week, you know, saying thanks to everybody for 5,000 subscribers, it went up to 5,005, and then it dropped back down to now 4,999. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, guys, catch us all. Keep cool to after school and remember, always have fun. See ya.